Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I would like to share the third part of a three-part article series that I wrote and created several weeks ago. I have previously created parts one and part two of this video series and want to encourage you to watch that those two parts in addition to this uh, part three. Um, the article living with a traumatic brain injury am I being manipulated solutions and strategies. As you listen to this article being read and questions or comments come to mind please send those to me. I would love to hear from you. All questions are good questions and all comments are welcome. To read the article I'll put my glasses back on and bring up the article. I want to thank you for being here. You're an important part of my process. Here's the article. Living with a Traumatic Brain Injury. Am I Being Manipulated? Solutions and Strategies, Part 3. In my experience, shame has the effect upon me as when a deer is caught in the headlights of a vehicle. In the headlights, the deer can neither think or move. Shame has a similar impact upon me in that when I am faced with shame, I feel stuck, metaphorically speaking, and do not know what to do. In part one of this article, I shared what I learned about how shame sets individuals up to be manipulated. In part two of this article, I shared some of how shame impacted my life and relationships. In part three and final part of this series, I will share some of the solutions and strategies that have helped me and continue to help me when I'm faced with the impact of shame and when I feel like I'm being manipulated. Note, my recovery process from the impact of debilitating shame and the effects of toxic shame codependency as described in the dance in part two of this series began when I reached an emotional bottom in my life. The pain of that emotional bottom motivated me to do what I saw was working in the lives of individuals who were working a program of recovery. In my experience and through my recovery process, I use tools and strategies to help me to recognize when I'm being shamed and manipulated. These tools and strategies help me to move and walk away from the impact that debilitating shame has upon my life. I do not use these tools and strategies perfectly. However, when I work them, they work for me. I have pre previously written a two-part article series and created a two-part video presentation series of the articles to share what I learned through my recovery process. Below I will provide a link to both series. What I share in the article and video series is an ongoing process. I have not arrived, however, I have found that when I use these solutions and strategies, I am better able to recognize when I am being shamed and manipulated. Through being aware of when I am being shamed and, shamed and manipulated, I am better able to make healthier choices with whom I spend my time. And at the bottom of this particular part of the article, I have two links to the articles and two links to the video presentations of the articles. The article, Second Chance to Live Action Steps Revisited an Overview, and Second Chance to Live Action Steps Revisited a Synopsis. I want to thank you for watching this particular video series. Before I go, let me encourage you with this, as I need to remember, please do not give up on yourself, a loving God, or your process, because more will be revealed to you and to me in time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order at the right time. So be encouraged, my friend. More will be revealed to us. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day, and thank you again for your time. So long now.